Amigis, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily, and today we are fixing up the office. As I film this, it is the first day of fall. And if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that when the seasons change, I need to do little changes around the apartment, a little refresh here and there. And that is what we are doing for today's video. We are going to be giving the office a little little refresh also if you are new to my channel i make home decor and lifestyle content and also some travel content here and there basically i like to share everything that i love and hopefully get to connect with like-minded people so if you like videos like this where you can get some inspo here and there then don't forget to follow anyways we are in the office in case you haven't seen my original office makeover video then i'll have it linked up here so you can watch that because it was when i was first decorating the apartment and let's just say that the office has come a long way i actually started a little project for the refresh yesterday and we're gonna finish up today so i'm gonna go ahead and play the clips from yesterday in case you haven't seen my office yet or you haven't in a while this is what it looks like currently i'm not planning on changing too much of this main area mostly we need to figure out this situation. So I have an online shop and I fulfill small orders here and then I have a storage unit where I fulfill large orders over there like for wholesale and for Amazon and all that stuff. Some stuff like the things under here need to go to my second storage unit that basically holds a lot of like extra home decor that I have or maybe like seasonal items, things that I don't need in my apartment because my apartment doesn't have that much storage. So the plan is to clear this out. I actually want to get rid of this table and I actually want to use this Ikea cabinet that I found on Ofra and the goal is to actually paint this. I have the paint right here plus some hardware. We're gonna be transforming this. We're gonna be cleaning this up. And I also want to organize some stuff over there. So like I said, I've been wanting to fix and like organize this space for a while, figuring things out. I might later have to get some other storage options for inside the closet, just to make things a little bit more organized. So yeah, I'm kind of just going with it. First things first, let's clean this space out. And maybe as I do this, you guys find a little bit of inspo to declutter a space that you've been putting off for a while or once you see it all put together maybe you want to do some changes to your home office or to your desk area or something ultimately i hope this inspires somebody because whenever i watch videos like this i always feel so inspired to either like declutter or do a little refresh but first things first we're gonna play some music grab any time Ahí en el club la otra noche, pero sé que no me haces bien, no, porque a vos te gusta bailar y te dejó. So what I did notice was that these were not lining up properly. So I'm just going to um I already basically took this off, but I'm just going to fix that so that they line properly. Alright, so we're gonna fix that now. Okay, so I keep trying to fix this and I even went on to the IKEA website to look at the instructions and stuff and look at pictures. Some of them actually have a slight gap. This is a little bit bigger of a gap than I'm hoping for, but I'm just gonna leave it because I'm getting frustrated <laughs> trying to fix that. So I'm just gonna leave that. We're gonna get started with painting. And then maybe later, if I ever want to just try to knock that out again, then I will. But yeah, we're going to paint. And I'm not sure if I want to paint the whole inside. I don't really want to paint the entire like blocks of these, like the, the shelves. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put them in here and then decide later if I want to paint that inside or not. Because I don't think it's really a big deal if I don't. <laughs> So, forgot to mention this, but the girl who I bought this off of actually said she watches my YouTube videos, so hello if you're watching. 
but she told me that her husband like fixed it or whatever I think it's like sanded already it's not that bad so I'm just gonna paint it the paint that I got is paint and primer so we're good to go I got the paint from Home Depot as well as like the supplies so it's like a pretty terracotta type of color I also got some hardware that I'm thinking about adding on here but I'm gonna decide that after Alright, so so far I've done just one coat. Next, what I'm gonna do is go into these areas and then all around the bottom where I missed it and then I'll go over it with the second coat maybe I'll need three coats I'm not sure I just want to see what it looks like after the second coat yeah I'm liking the color so far for sure once it dries it's gonna look super good with the other coats So I don't know if this was a smart idea or not, but I really need to do it. I need to get organized over here. I decided to start putting in the shipping supplies and whatever I want in the cabinet. Obviously the cabinet still needs to dry. I'll let it dry overnight. It looks really good. I did three coats within, I don't know how many hours. It's been a long time. I've been like on and off working and doing that. We need to organize this space and figure out from all of this what is going to stay on these shelves what might go into the closet back here and that way i know exactly what needs to be taken to the storage unit and we're good to go for tomorrow and then this whole space will be good and then i could like clean those shelves and everything maybe rearrange some stuff who knows we'll leave that for tomorrow but for right now i'm just going to work on figuring this out so far so good we already need so much space right there which is awesome and it's gonna look nice I'm very excited it looks a bit crazy in here but I promise there has been a good amount of stuff done we have so much space now on those shelves we have that shipping supplies in there I think that's all that needs to go in there which is nice it's all tucked away it doesn't look so messy over here anymore anyways this is the situation here this huge heavy box has to go to the storage unit but i'm gonna probably have to make some boxes and just fill stuff up before being able to take it over there but anyways let's go back in here the cabinet is looking so good i can't wait to show you during like daylight hours and then i have my products right here to easily be able to package all right update time we are basically done the breakfast nook looks like a complete mess but it's just because the majority of that stuff has to go to the storage unit tomorrow. So let me just show you. I did end up moving around the shelves over here and I think the cabinet is good to go and we're just gonna move it, remove all this, clean the space up a bit because I do still have to work in here for the rest of the night, but I'm loving it and I'm so excited because then tomorrow we could finish it up, put the hardware on as well. So I moved some stuff around over here. I decided that I actually really like being able to see the products on this side of the shelf because when you walk in your eyes look more directly to this side so i think this is just nicer it's gonna make things a little bit easier for me to grab i moved that little basket over here i put a little plant here for now down here so these are things that i have to like use for campaigns down here is pr that i was recently sent that i haven't done an unboxing for or, like shared on my instagram stories if i want to share obviously sometimes i have larger boxes that would have to be out here or something but for the most part we're going to try to keep it organized this way so i'm going to go ahead and clean this up move the cabinet and then we're just going to call it for the night and we'll continue tomorrow so let's go ahead and hurry up and do this because i have some more work to do
You guys, it's looking so nice and clean in here. I love all of this open space now. It's gonna be a lot more productive in here. Very excited to show you in the morning. So yeah, this is what it looks like and I'll show you tomorrow. Super excited to see what that looks like on camera for you guys tomorrow. It looks so good in person. All right, you guys, it is now the next day and we are going to finish the cabinet. We're gonna, we're gonna add something else. We're gonna rearrange possibly some stuff. So let me show you what the cabinet looks like because I love it, I love it. You guys, here is the cabinet. I think it looks so good. The color is just what I was picturing. It's perfect. And this is the inside. I didn't end up painting the inside. So what I ended up doing was I have my tissue paper right here, some other stuff for like that go into packages, some other baggies, the envelopes, stuff that goes in the orders, stickers and tape. And then this is just other stuff. And then my scale is right there so everything fit perfectly and that's exactly what i intended this to be so that way when i package online orders then i just get to do that here and then obviously when i have to package for amazon and for wholesale orders i do that at the storage unit so this is just like a very small packaging space for online orders because majority is amazon and wholesale but yeah, I think it looks so good. I fixed up the shelves yesterday. So up here, we just have some baskets that are available on my shop. And then we have some plant markers, some greeting cards that I offer. Very planty, very cute. My moisture meters in white and black. And then as well as the three-in-ones, I have the sticky traps some journals and then down here i have other baskets and some terracotta pots up here i just have a prayer plant and i just have this shout out so kind of just an article and i just like to have it up there because that was from when i first started my business and then this basket just has like a bunch of random things that like i'm sent it's mostly like skincare and as you can tell i have like a bunch of um eyelashes and stuff like that but that's because this stuff just does not fit in my bathroom right now so i just have it there and if brands send me more stuff like that then i just i'm gonna add it to that basket if i'm not using it at the moment so i kind of like alternate stuff i'll grab things from there if i'm running out in there and stuff like that and then down here i want to dedicate for like if i need to work on some campaigns and i worked on some campaigns today so that's a little bit more empty and then down here i just have some like pr boxes that i have to either open or i have to like post on my instagram or something we didn't do anything different to this side i think i'm going to keep it pretty much the same i did recently though add this lamp that i got from the brand I believe is Mitzi and I think it looks so cute right here. I love collecting different lamps and I really liked that one. It's like a cute, like just like classic lamp. Okay, next order of operation is adding hardware to this. They didn't have too many options, but I really liked this one because it wasn't like super like gold, like a dramatic gold color. This gold or I guess brass, it isn't too crazy. So let's put that on. So what I'm thinking is having them up here. Ooh, that's gonna look so good. So in order to put the hardware, I've learned that you don't really need any crazy tools. I have this hook, obviously it's used, but it has this very pointy end that is gonna help me just make the hole. Then I'll be able to just put the hardware through the hole that I make with this. and. It's worked out for me for any project where I need to create a hole. So I'm hoping that it works this time. So that's the plan. We're just gonna wing it because we just wing it here. And honestly, it kind of turns out good. So let's do it. I'll do one and a half inch by one and a half inch. That is right there. So that's gonna be the spot. And I do have a drill. So as long as I make the indent, for that other one to go in, then I'll be able to drill it if needed. So 
So I was finally able to make the hole. Tell me why. I think it wasn't going in because I had because I had the uh, what's it called? What is it called? The, the gun? The screw gun? What is it called? Oh my gosh, I can't think. Anyways, I think I had it on the wrong way. Like it was taking it off instead of putting it on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyways, we made it. So let me show. Anyways, it finally went through. Next step is to get this through here. So now we're gonna do that one. I'm literally sweating. I need to put on the other fan, but then it gets too loud for you guys. But tell me what's wrong with me today because it was just so easy right now and it was difficult earlier. So I think the problem is me. But anyways, this now can go through here. Ta-da! It only took forever. It was worth it because it looks pretty good. Now we need to make sure we get it exactly the same. So fingers crossed. All right, so either I'm tripping or this door was tripping because this one I was able to go through really fast. Look at how cute. Ugh. I've been wanting something like this for so long and this is perfect. I love that I basically did a DIY so it's that much more special. I love it. Okay, now next project. All right, you guys, some time passed. So I had to do something. So we're losing daylight hour already. But anyways, the next thing I want to do, I got a package from Toasty or Toast. I don't know if it's Toast or Toasty, but I'm really excited to open this up and show you guys. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it, but now that this wall is pretty open, I'm thinking that it's going to go over here. So let's open it up. How cute. So sweet. I love handwritten letters. Here it is. Can you guys guess what it is? There she is. So cute. It is a custom calendar, you guys. And it's of glass or acrylic. And it says Classica Cita on it with the days of the week, all of the months, and obviously like throughout the days. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's like it's made for that. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. Thankfully, I have a magic eraser for this wall. Pero sé que te gusta y no te di bola 